of South Cotabato, known as the land of the dream weavers. It is the home of the Tibolo tribe, known for their weaving art that bases its patterns on their dreams. Lakes, waterfalls, flower farm, vast plantations, and well-preserved traditions. South Cotabato opens the doors to the picturesque southern region of Mindanao. The province of Cotabato, land of the highest mountain. The province of Cotabato lies on the eastern part of Soxargent region. It is tragically located in the central part of Mindanao. Regarded as a fruit basket of Mindanao, the province has an agriculture-based industry with its vast plains and rolling terrains providing suitable areas for a growing variety crops of tropical fruits. The highest peak in the country is also located in the three municipalities of this province. The province of Sultan Kudarat. Sultan Kudarat was once a part of the former Empire Province of Cotabato, and it's located in the southwestern part of the island of Mindanao. Hundreds of first-class caves are actually found in this province. The province is also the top producer of coffee in the Philippines. The province of Sarangani. The province is at the southernmost tip of Mindanao Island. Sarangani are known for paragliding, diving, and river tubing adventures. When these places are their food products and delicacies that one can find elsewhere. The booming city of the South, the Tuna capital of the Philippines. General Santos City from a vast barren land filled with raw agricultural materials to a thriving economic hub in Southeast Asia. City of General Santos has shown the country how leadership, collaboration, and vision could transform a city to a paradise embraced by innovation and sustainability. Magandang Jensen, wow, home of the champions. Whoa, Jensen!